And after two and a half years, Sanjeev Gupta, whose business as GFG Alliance is the subject of a fraud and money laundering investigation, has returned to the United Kingdom. Bloomberg sources say that Gupta, who now resides in Dubai, is visiting the UK to see a sick relative and attend business meetings. While one of the Bloomberg sources indicated that the steel magnate will be interviewed by the Serious Fraud Office, SFO, when he is in the country. The SFO is looking into allegations of fraud, fraudulent trading and money laundering, which involves Gupta's business networks, funding and operations. In France, the authorities are looking into claims that the organization laundered money and misappropriated the company funds. Nearly 18 months have passed since the SFO sent investigators to GFG's headquarters to seek business balance sheets, annual reports and communications relating to the issue. So any move to interview would be a major escalation of the ongoing inquiry. Well, Gupta, the son of an Indian entrepreneur, moved to the UK when he was a teenager. He attended Cambridge University before launching his own commodities trading firm, Liberty House. During a purchasing binge in the middle of the 2010s, he amassed a vast network of firms and was dubbed as the savior of steel by the British press for his efforts to rescue financially troubled metal factories in the country. The tycoon's trading firm Liberty House Group was the subject of disclosures that prompted the investigations to take place. After becoming worried about what they saw as issues in documentation given by Liberty, four banks ceased doing business with the firm beginning in 2016. After its primary lender, Grenzel Capital, went bankrupt in March 2021, it became public knowledge that GFG had been borrowing money against the anticipated future bills to finance sales that were purely hypothetical. Well, before its closure, Grinsel was Gupta's most important financial backer. Credit Suisse Group packaged and marketed billions of dollars in loans from a London bank to GFG. Grinsel went bankrupt when a major insurance provider stopped covering loans made to certain of the company's clients. Well, in the past as well, GFG has said that it would assist completely with any inquiry. That is after the office raids last year. One of the executives in a memo said, and I'm quoting here, we have consistently rejected any wrongdoing on our part. Moving on to other business news that we're tracking at this hour.